Right, uh, this is the beginning of episode uh, uh, update 18, I believe. So, getting along in the updates. But anyway, so as you can see, this is actually now glued in place. I, I finished it off and doing it a bit each uh, for every five minutes, just going on holding it there steadily. And as I think you can see, the actual join. join is quite nice and it's I'm not going to put any filler in it because basically I'm just going to put a bit of a rubber um, a sanding stick over there smooth out I might do but I don't think it's actually need it at all because obviously the tire's going to be sitting there and uh, but as long as it's smooth around here and it is but I suggest just sanding stick on the so insides here be okay right so and also I don't think I showed you I'd actually done this and I've sanded it now and it's all smooth and you can see uh, that one, is that one? That's got a little bit of a right. Ah, yeah. That, that that I'm going to do that a bit more now. So I'm going to just come back in a couple of seconds. Yeah, oh no, I'll stay on here now because it's okay. I'm going to get the old sanding stick and just finish off that. Even though it's, it's only just slightly raised. Here we go. Then I'll move that over there a little bit. No. Can you see me? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I thought I'd done a nice job on it. Obviously, you're not going to see half of this. And most people say, well, what was the point? But just, at least I know I've done it. And put it on the smoother side. That's better. This one there's got a slight rise in it as well. Not much, but... I actually done these under water as well. Yeah, in the old sink. Yeah, I was just doing it all again. This should see me finishing it off anyway. I've got a pigeon that's on the roof, but beautifully keeps coming around and it tried to look in earlier on. There you go, so I might, might see a shadow go quote. Let's get a bit of, a bit of dusting off. Yep, I'm going to be to say I'm happy with that. Get the sand, this soft sand, this a bit over the top. We'll get a bit of primer underneath anyway, because I'm going to paint underneath. I'm going to mask off this end, do a bit of black at the back end uh, on the roof, on the roof, and then obviously uh, white everywhere else, including this bit of the front. So that's it. So the next thing is now to uh, get, get a bit of that off. Get, put this away. I don't want that on the bench now. I can uh, that one. What we're going to do now? A bit of water really does clean these off, these these uh, hot covers, these are really good. Jason uh, model kit stuff, uh, he's using the blue ones now I believe now, I think he's going to have the blue. I still quite like the grey, so right we're going to put this in place. And push it right up there, as you can see it goes in nicely. Like that, and it's in. So I'm going to use the uh, this one again because it gives you plenty of time. I do like this. You shouldn't have to do anything with it now. So what do I do? I'm going to put it inside this, and I think there's a groove. Yep, there's a groove either way. So I just do that. I'll do it onto this and not onto the other one. Let's see if I can do it on camera. I don't know.
Typical. It doesn't want to come out. That's it. It's done. Give it a couple of seconds. Come back over here. <coughs> And here we go then. And I might put a bit on this, yeah, over here, on this one. Once it's in place, you can still run a bit of extra fin along it as well. <clears throat> so there we go. I think you can see it's going in here quite nicely. If you get them two bits there, just want that bit off. Just hold it in place. So what I'm going to do is switch off now and come back here, back in afterwards. I've done it. See you in a second. Right, we're back, and uh, just going to show you what I've done. I've actually done this off camera. Uh, I've actually rusted up the exhaust pipe using uh, life colours, using the the base colour, then the dark rust, then a light a light rust wash over it. Now you. Uh, as Andy said, you can't see, see this, so he says, but, it, but you can actually see it from certain angles. So I decided, rather than just paint the bit that I said I was going to paint, uh, I painted it all. And uh, so it looks rusty when it's done. Now the next thing to do really is to put this piece on, uh, which if I slide into place just temporarily, like so, it goes like that. into place like that and then you can just about see if I just lift it up slightly that's what you can see but for you can see from other angles from the side you can see at a certain angle there but of course the, the tracks will cover it as well so you're not going to see much of it but I decided to just give it a bit of rusty paint anyway so now this is going to be be put into place here and that's what I'm going to be doing next. So that goes into there and that goes there. And this goes in like this. Oops, uh, the click there. And it's going to go into place like that. Anyway. So I'm going to put the end glue, but I'm going to do that off camera because I can't, I can't, uh, I've got to look over bits of what he's doing. So this bit is going to go on now. And uh, just to show you now that this bit has been glued on. I think I said that earlier on. That's been glued on and put took me time doing that. These are still loose, so I can take them off at the moment. There you go. And this will fit like so on here. And then it goes down right in. And we have a bit that comes across here anyway, so it covers that. So this is what it is. And I've got to do a bit of repair on the corners here where that, uh, that bit that was meant to protect it is gone. And then you've got the, uh, this bit which I've cleaned up anyway, and this goes onto, onto here. So that hasn't, hasn't gone too far forward, that is. So we'll come back. That's it, that's the one. That's the way it goes, that fits better now. And then this will come on the back like so. Once I've got this glued into place properly. Oops. Like 
so this has got to be going down as well. That's it. And it comes down like that. And that's I guess. So I might be able to glue this bit on into place before I do it. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Because this has got to be glued into place later. I don't want to do it yet. And so that's it. So that's what we're doing. So that's quite good. And now you can see a bit more what you can see. Now with the turret on and the gun there, you most probably won't see so much of that, but of course you can take the turret off to show it. And you can see through the ashes as well. So I've got to put the radio bit in the position there. Over there, I've got the, the actual um, periscope that's got to go there as well. So that's got to be done. So, and with these, these open, well, you can still be able to see in there. So, so far so good. Please, with that way they come in, but like I said, I've got a, I've got a fill a bit there, just a bit in the corner, because this this side is lovely, and that side was where it broke off. There's not much broken off, so I can actually run, run a bit there and do it. Yeah, so that's okay. Right. So now you've seen what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just kind of come away and do that now. Whoops. Put this back into its position, and then I can start weathering in here later on, and start getting the shells done and put them into the racks, and so. I'll just put a couple in a row for a laugh, just to give you an idea. They actually go opposites. So, it's going to give you a good idea, it's going to look quite nice, and then you'll be washing, I'm going to wash over them afterwards. So I'll put them these back, they need, they need the caps, the brass caps on the back, on the bottom of the e-shell, so there you go. So we're doing it, moving along quite nicely, and then they're basically, I have another kit to build, which will be the turret, because I'm regarding that as a separate uh, kit anyway. Right then, so I'm going to switch off now, and uh, get stuck into doing this bit, and getting it to fit properly, that's what I want to do. So, catch you later. Hi, back again. This is a just sort segment for this is on Sunday. It's uh, 17 26. So I've spent a bit of time getting this part on and I managed to on that to do some clamping to get it to, to match up. But as you can see now, Andy is right. Once you get this bit and this bit on and I've test fitted the uh, this over the top and it sits like that and it does drop into place and this fits perfectly. And so does this one on the bottom. Once you put this bit in though, you can hardly, you can hardly see anything at it all, so be just one of those things for weathering, but it's okay. But at least I know that I, I actually did all the rusting on the on the fuel tanker. So when you feel you can see it from one angle and from underneath, you'll see that it's actually got rust on it. So um, so let's go good. I didn't put no uh, powders on it, because I think you're not gonna see much about it, but when you look up there, you can see rust, and that's the, the good bit about the exhaust. So, you can see quite a bit in here. There's going to be some weathering, obviously, and I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to carry on with the top plate now. I can show you a little bit now. And I know it's not up there because you've got to push it over and, and push it all in and glue it all in place. So, that, But it does actually fit really nicely along with the other one. I've test fitted it. And so did all these bits. So that's it. So what basically... <coughs> Yeah, tongue tied. What I'm going to basically do is put take this bit off because I'm going to carry on. Uh, put, see, it was a quite a nice snug fit, and uh, take that bit off and actually cover this one up. But uh, if I lift this up, you'll see what I mean. Underneath. So there you go. So really pleased with that. I'm going to put a block here and a block there because you're not going to see that's underneath to give it a plastic block to give it more strength because I had to actually clamp this to tie it in place. So if I put a nice block here and it, it'll give it more excess and I will paint it out black by hand. So these bits are all okay as well. These are gone, so they, they're done. They've got the engines done and there's all the bits for that. The rear gun support is not a problem. It's all been cleaned up and it does fit tight and I will glue that into place towards the end. So now we're going to carry on with the top plate and then start making the shell racks up which are in that other case that you can see where all the tracks that they can't be on there. So I'm going to be doing that and so that's it. So we're really pleased with it so far and once you've done some weathering in there it's going to make a big difference to seeing it. Now like I said you can't see in there too much with the turret 
and off. You can see in there nicely with the turret off. But if I once I start weathering this, it's going to look nice and and uh, sort of grimy. Uh, and I'm really pleased with it so far. And this was a nice bit. Again, I had to clamp, and you can see a bit of grain paint come off. I'm not worried about that because again, it's inside there, and I can actually paint that black as well now, if I want to. So there you go. Right. So I'm going to call that quits for the day, and uh, I'll see you on the next segment. Well, here we are again. I'm just going to start putting some of these bits on, and uh, I'll do this because it's easy. And there's a big one, so I'm going to do start adding there some little bits onto the top here. And I have test fitted all this around the back, and it's, it's a lovely fit now, so that's good. So we're just going to do this, and slot this into place, and it goes in there, in there perfectly. I'm going to just run a little bit of glue on this end. Done. And that's okay. Now what we want to do now is get the doors on. So put this one this way because that is the correct way with the handle at the back. That you can see. Now we've got to get these, and again, should be nice and easy. Oops. Oh, I don't want to drop this. There you go. Let's go. So if I come down, I'll come down a little bit further. And if I push that that way, you'll see a bit better. And I've got a bit more. And here we go. So we've got to get a bit of glue on here. Oh, I'll put it in there so you can see it. Anyway, but there you go. So I don't want to drip anything anywhere. So we're going to put one here. And That one's in place. Get another one. I think I'll turn them out now. There you go, you can see them there. Bit easier. These have been cleaned up. I'm going to do another one here. And again, drop it into place. And what I'm going to do now is get me pair of tweezers. There they are. I'm not, not going to use them for anything else, just going to push this bit down to make sure it's okay. That's it. That works lovely. And that's it. I'll, I'll clean these off a little bit there because I'll do that later. Right, and then we've got the other one to do. And I'm going to move that and I'm going to do what I call a swinger. I'm going to swing it around this way now. And of course you can't see those bits now because I'm going to do it on this side. The other door and there. So now I've got to do the same with this. So we're going to get same pan. Make sure I don't have too much dripping around. Like that. And now we're going to go the same way over that way. And get this one. And there you go. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the same the other side when I've done, but this one I'm just going to run a little bit of glue there. Put a reaction and take it into it. And as long as that comes up, which it does, I can see feel it moving. Then we've got to do the other one. And same thing again. Sorry if my hand's in the way, but uh, can't be helped. There you go. And it's gone into place now. Put that glue on before I screw it up <laughs> and tip it all over the shop. But that's it. So that's done. So I'm going to bring it round. And add a little bit of glue again into this area, these areas underneath this one just to give it a little bit make sure it's really glued down you can see it going underneath and there you go now if I lift that up 
good so that's that done so we've got them in now i'm going to leave them look murkable but uh, Andy, Andy, I was hoping I said leave them undone if you could, you might be able to get a, a, an engine in there later on. But if you stick this down, that's no, there's no chance of that. So at some point, I may just decide to to actually move them out. A photograph in there would be quite good. I think I said that before. Anyway, right. So that's that bit done, and we've done that bit and that bit, and now we have basically got to look at putting things on the front. So. What I'm going to do is twist this around a bit. I've got a bit of uh, white. Oh, you can't see it. I've done that on the on the front because mine was damaged. But once it's that's dry now. But I'm going to do to sand it tomorrow so it's smooth, and then uh, put any any texture back in. So what we want to do now, I'll just put it like that. Is think about putting the stuff on the front here because that's what we want to do. Yep, that's it all the way along here bits and pieces and they've got a choices to do now I know this fits on lovely and there's a bit that covers up the joint when, when you actually put it on the hole so that's great so we've got to do is look at this this stuff now all these are all these holes have been done because I actually done them we've got these bits on so we don't got to worry about that so what we're looking at now and um, forget about the cleats got to do this one A and B and cut up this bits and pieces and then carry on back here doing the back bits anything we can put on so all the fuel fuel caps and all uh, yeah there are fuel caps as far as I remember so that be done and the rod and we've got to paint those rods still I haven't done those and I've noticed that uh, the rods the clean rods and the American ones are, are all uh, in wood it looks like so I'm gonna luckily I'm gonna be able to have a bit of wood texture inside side the hole with the bits I've actually put in so right so I'm gonna call that quits for today I'll come back this is still Sunday it's 2100 uh, and I'll come back in here to do that bit you know, I'm quite pleased so far so if I just come out oh no I can leave it like that and this bit does fit in there nicely even better when it's on the hole as you can see and it does there you go goes in quite nicely you can see a little gap there but it ain't been pushed in there you go I'm gonna take that bit off that's going to be gone. I will be spraying inside there white inside up to about here and then spraying black at the back so pretty much the same you won't see it you won't be able to see any of what I've filled in there as well but at least it gives the reflection of white inside the vehicle must probably give you a bit more light in there right here we go then so that's it for this one and uh, oh by the way the, the periscopes I said were clear I think get them out I won't take them out of the packet yet, but there they are, and you can see you've got one, two, and you've got three, so it's one, two, and then that one over in the corner of the driver, so there you go. So that's another thing to do later, but I, that, I'm not worried about those, because I can spray and paint the hatches, the hatches are, um, and then put the, the uh, these in afterwards. So, right, that's it then for this. Uh, I might see how much I've got on in the uh, regards to the recording to make another little update for tomorrow. So I'll have a look anyway. So if if, if I don't come, I'm not going to say this is the last segment, but uh, it could be. And if it is, it means that um, we're going on to update number 18. I think it is. Anyway, right. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.